Hi friends, it's Tim Schrock from Design Build Solutions bringing you today's Tech Tip Tuesday. Today's a drafting tip on how to deal with uh, this situation where maybe some ele some sections are so close next to each other due to size and paper uh, size that you really can't get two uh, text things in tech two text next to each other, such as this instance right here where I've got, uh, you know, a, a front to rear section versus a, a side to side section. And I don't need to have this um, text in here twice. I can just use the same text and point to the same, you know, similar items across, across the sections. Anyway, I'm not sure what to call this. So it's about drafting sections, etc. Let's get started. So here's the sections I've got, and I've got both of them open. This is this uh, section here, and what I did was uh, I hit the Y key on my keyboard for text, and I'm going to just select all of the text and copy that, Control C. Go to my second section, and what I did here was Control Alt V. If you're on a Mac, uh, it's Command Option V, and that pastes that in the same x y coordinates of this section what i really want is the y coordinates because it's all the same heights as the first section so um let's close this save that um so what i did was then here's that you can see what I've already done, but here's the um, text from the first section that lines up to this wall. And so I've selected all of these and made them right aligned or align right. And then I'm going to use this uh, tool, Align Distribute Objects and Right Edges. So they're all going to right align and right edges. And then when I move this over into place here, I'm just going to add a bunch of arrows. So I'm going to do my Alt-A or uh, on a PC it would be uh, Command-A. I think I thought Alt was Option. Option-A. Anyway. Uh, so I'm going to right click and drag because I always like to have two segments to my arrows and this is my anchor so I right click and I let go at that joint and left click here escape and then I'm going to do this for the sill plate same thing right click and drag. To each of these. Now this one I'm going to left click because it's going to be a straight across. And then for the rest of the items, uh, what I did was just moved them over the pertinent ones. Some of them aren't pertinent because I don't like these two uh, align ceiling flush and align subfloors flush don't apply to this um, section. So I just moved it over into place here and I can do the same, you know, add the arrows as necessary. Now, going back to my layout, um, I, I can adjust the uh, lines of this layout and pull this over here. In this case, what happened, let me set it up real quick. What happened was that this section on the right was inserted after this section on the left. So this in the drawing order was on top. And as I drag this over, you see the lines going through that text there, right? That's fine. Uh, this text in section one is all has a white solid fill. 
And so what I'm going to do is uh, click back on this left section and do my draw order tools here, view draw order edit tools, and just click on top once, bring forward really. And that way all of these lines from the right section will be clipped, if you will, or, or hidden by the blank white, solid white fill of the text in the left. Now it all aligns perfectly uh, because I know the exact XY coordinates of this text. It's just, it's really just off screen. If I drag it over here, you see double the text, but I don't need that. And do like so, make sure I don't have any double text showing up. If I did, I could come back to this section and do my Y, select, I'm going to shift select all and just pull it way out here. Um, that didn't drag these over, so I'm going to just draw a line and uh, extend these arrowheads, leader lines. Like so, and now we know for sure it won't have double text, um, but there you go. Hopefully a, a useful and quick tip for you today. Uh, thanks so much for watching. If you like these videos, please show encouragement. I enjoy uh, the comments, but also the like and subscribe. Uh, hit the notification bell so that you uh, get notified each week as I upload these videos. Take care.